last time. Pi isn't an Omega Flip power. You can only use what's on the cards, like Laser Strike, Volcano Blast, Quake Shake, you know. And the strongest power wins. What about the power of crusty pastry and mysterious meat filling? <laughs> nice card collection, Minis. I didn't know you were into Omega Flip. Thought you only played things without lasers, like chess. Oh, laser chess would be awesome. I appreciate Omega Flip as a game of skill and strategy, but I wouldn't expect you and your cohorts to understand anything about that. Oh, yeah? Me and my co... whatever you've said, understand plenty. Oh, then you won't object to taking us on in a friendly game, would you? Does it have to be friendly? We'll each put our cards on the line. Winner takes all. <laughs> what cards have you got? Violin victory. <laughs> Homework hammer. <laughs> Swatty strike. No, Swatty strike, very drum. Do you accept my challenge or not? Of course. I love games. <laughs> Who wants to play snakes and ladders? Hey, With real snakes! <laughs> <laughs> but let's make this Omega Flip match worth our while. If we win, you'll do all our homework for a month. And if I win? We'll do all your homework for a month. <laughs> I don't think so. No, if we win, you'll be our butlers for a month. Eh, whatever. It doesn't matter, cos you'll never beat us anyway. So it's agreed. We'll battle at lunchtime tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, I do have one card you might be interested in. Oh, Mega Ball, Mega Ball! The rarest, most powerful card there is. Where did you get it? There's only one in every million packs. I want all the cards you have. <laughs> now! <laughs> To practice your butler skill. <laughs> uh, what are we gonna do? None of our cars are anywhere near as good as the Mega Omega Ball. Oh, Walter's right. We might as well practice being butlers. Oh, I have run your bath, Master Paul. Shall I peel you? This isn't over. We're gonna practice, all right. At Omega Flip. Walter may have the best card, but I'm the best player. If I have five apples and King Alfred burnt the cakes, how long will Psst. it take a green... Put up the defence shield so we can Omega train. ...and find out how to fill a bath using a thimble? doing? Eh? Give those to me. I have a special power of my own. Confiscation. Miss, please, we need our cards for a big Omega Flip battle tomorrow. Well, you should have thought of that before you started playing with them in my class. Oh. Oh, I can't believe Mrs Creature took our cards. I mean, just because we were practising Omega Flip in her boring lesson. Yeah. What's she gonna do with them anyway? Whirlwind whip. Tornado spin. If we're going to beat Walter, we need more cards. But not just any cards. We need a mega omega ball of our own. That's right. And Nash is going to help us sniff one out. Nash and Nash. Nash. Nice one, Nasha. This is a pack of ultra rare cards. Quick, everybody empty your pockets. Don't suppose you'd take a pie in exchange for a pack of Omega Flip cards? No. Oh, how are we going to beat Walter without any cards? Wait, did you say Walter? <laughs> oh, hurry up. I want all the Omega Flip cards you have. Don't forget the ultra rare ones. Well, don't just lie there. 
pick them up. Oh, that kid makes my life a misery whenever he comes in. Right, we overstocked on some packs so you can have these. They're not the best, but even the weakest cards can be effective if you work together. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> Right, let's see what we've got. Um, duck dive, drizzle, dog breath. Oh, OK, our only hope is this last card. Wipeout. After all that, we still haven't got any decent cards. Wait, there's still one option left. The trade. Who's going to trade for these? We have no choice, Curly. <laughs> ah, my snail slime beats your bunny hop. I'll have those keys. <laughs> Good game, Angel Face. I hear you have a spare squirrel slam card. Care to swap it for not one, but two cards from my super amazing game-winning collection. No deal, Dennis. Everyone knows Creature has your deck. I suspect whatever pitiful hand you managed to scrape together so far won't even be worth my Goat Glare card. Come on, Angel Face! Don't you want this Dog's Breath card? You may not realise, but it can be very useful in battle against, um, against... Against the power of crusty pastry and mysterious meat filling card. Oh, but you must have something you can trade. I wish I could help you, Dennis, but I lost my last deck of Omega cards to Corporate Tinkle. He is a master of strategic gameplay, you know. Okay. Uh, maybe Corporal Tinkle would like to trade. Oh, no. Corporate Tinkle does not trade his cards. You must challenge him to a game. Um. Uh, oh, never mind. Oh, if Walter beats us and we have to be their butlers, we'll never live it down. Maybe we should back out. No, a menace never gives up. But it wouldn't be our fault if Mrs. Creature confiscates our cards. Oh, no! No, don't take our cards! Don't take them away! Of course I won't. You're not allowed to play in lessons, but it's perfectly fine at break time. What? No! Uh, I mean, um, yay. <laughs> time to battle, Dennis, and may the strongest card win, which, as we all know, is the Mega Omega Ball. <laughs> Our only hope is to make them use up their powers before we take too much damage. Little strike! Wait, This will be the shortest Omega Flip battle in history. <gasps> Mega Omega Ball! <laughs> One more hit and it's over! Even the weakest cards can be effective if you work together. Huh? Curly! Pie face! Flip your cards at the same time! Duck dive! <laughs> Drizzle! Well, wipe out! <laughs> Is that all you've got? Pathetic! Let's finish this. <laughs> I've put enough worms down people's necks to know they always come out when it rains. Wait for it. <laughs> Once again, we prove that Walter and his chums are no match for a menace. And no homework for us for a month. Oh, goody. <laughs> More hard subs. Well, seeing how much Walter loves homework, looks like this time everyone's a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Just waiting to be menaced. Are you sure we're in the right place, Dennis? I don't see any fleas. <laughs> Flea 
market just means jumble sale, Pyface. Exactly. And that's where Nasha comes in. We're going to put the fleas into <laughs> flea market. Nash, <laughs> Nash. <laughs> A rare baked bean tin. Good work, Nasha. We menaced the whole market. Not quite. What? I knew you'd try something like that. You're so predictable. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, did you? You'll never outthink a menace. Wait, what's this? The Book of the Menace. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. <laughs> Dennis, your menacing days are numbered. Is watering his flowers. But now my flower is gonna water Walter. Uh, hey, Walter, want to smell my flower? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice try, Minis. Now why don't you smell my flower? Huh? <laughs> oh, Walter got lucky with the flower prank, but there's no way he'll be ready for the stink balloon. Mm. Oh, what's in the stuff? My secret stink recipe. The sweat from my gym socks, an overripe gorgonzola pie. Oh, I was saving that. Huh? And something I combed out of Nash's fur after he rolled around in a dung heap. So this time, when he opens the gate, he'll set off my patented jellinator. <laughs> I made a few modifications to your jelly contraption, Dennis. I think it's a big improvement. <laughs> Face it, Dennis, you're completely outclassed, outwitted, and out pranked. <laughs> We've got to find out how Walter's predicting all our pranks. <laughs> right, I've hooked up the Nash cam to your computer, Dennis. OK, Nasha, ready for your mission? Nash, Nash! <laughs> Good luck, Nasha. Nasha, Nash! Nashcam is online. Ah, oh, he's just doing homework. Go in closer. OK. <gasps> That's not homework. Those are pranks. No use spying on me, Minis. I'm always one step ahead of you. <laughs> So that's how Walter keeps beating us. But where did he get that book? <laughs> this is the last place we pranked Walter. Maybe it's where he found that book. Go away. There's no one here. Hey, we come in peace. We're not here to menace. I just want to know about a book. <laughs> It's like an old diary with, with diagrams and, and pictures in it. Oh, I, I don't know. I, I sell a lot of books. Yes, but this one was filled with instructions for pranks. Oh, oh, yes, yes. I do remember that one. The Book of the Menace. Never seen anything like it before. A complete guide to menaces and their pranks. The Book of the Menace? Yes, that's right. I got it from an old lady who was getting rid of a box of junk. In fact, there she is now. Huh? Gran? Hello, Dennis. Hello, Nasha. Gran, do you know anything about the Book of the Menace? 
Well, I should do. It's mine. Yours? Of course. It's been passed down through generations. Menison runs in our family, and all the pranks are written down in that. There are even some from when your dad was a kid. Your dad gave up menacing when you were born, so I was going to pass it on to you on your next birthday. Then why did you give it away to the flea market? I didn't. <gasps> Unless... Oh! <gasps> no, it must have fallen into the box when I was clearing the attic. <gasps> Where is it now? Walter's got it. What? No! It's got all the menacing secrets in it. Every prank, every trick, from water balloons to whoopee cushions. Why, in the wrong hands, it could be the end of menacing forever! <laughs> oh, Walter. Give me that book. It's my grand's. Oh. How do you like your eggs, Dennis? Boiled, fried or rotten? You'll never beat me, Dennis. I have all your secrets. <laughs> Nash? Oh, Nasha, I had a terrible nightmare. Walter started using Gran's book to pull pranks on us. It was horrible. <laughs> but it's given me an idea. Come on. It's time for Operation Switchback. What's Operation Switchback? The plan to get the Book of the Menace back from Walter. Then why don't we call it Operation Get the Book of the Menace Back from Walter? Because it's a secret. We need a code word. Oh. Oh, can we call it Operation Pie? Uh, fine. Operation Pie. <coughs> Mission accomplished. I'll bake the trap. Nasha, you and Curly run communications. What about me? Look out. Go. Oh. And pie eating. Yes. Don't try and pull any pranks, Dennis. I'm ready for anything. Look, I know you've been out pranking me lately. Glad to see you know when you're beaten by a superior intellect. But I'm not ready to hand over my pranking crown just yet. How about a challenge? A final prank-off to see who can play the most tricks in Beano Town. No, oh, don't be absurd. I don't pull pranks. <laughs> Unless they're on you. Ah, but if you win, I'll hand over my pranks and give up menacing forever. <gasps> no more menacing? <gasps> I'll be a Beano Town hero. They'll build statues to me. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> <laughs> Giving up? Just waiting for the right moment. You're too late. Look. <laughs> Dennis, you're finished. I win the prank off. I pranked everyone in the street. You? <laughs> no, uh, I mean, uh, uh, yes, but it was just to stop Dennis. It was all his idea. Then why have you got the Book of the Menace? No, oh, no it's not mine. It's his. <laughs> <laughs> Work team. So what are we going to do now, Dennis? Try out some of the pranks in that book? As soon as I've written this one down, Walter should have known. You can't learn menacing from a book. You have to be born with it. Woo! <laughs> Door 
years, a world away from the hurly-burly of everyday life, I close my eyes. Ah. And when I open them, <laughs> we're on. The Beano Town Cup Final, and we're almost front of the queue. <laughs> <laughs> Operation Golden Ticket is on course for a successful completion. <laughs> Um, four tickets for the cup final, please. Oh, sorry. Just sold me last tickets. What? We we'll do anything. Uh, cut your lawn, polish your boots, shine your medals. Anything for those tickets. Oh, tempt me all you like, Sonny Jim. The Colonel will never buckle. Oh. <laughs> if you're trying to buy tickets, Walter, they've sold out. Oh, I'm not buying a ticket, Dennis. As chief reporter for the school paper, I get a press pass. <gasps> so all we need is a press pass like Walter's and we're in. Oh, this is a menace made in heaven. Oh, no tickets left, love, sorry. The match is a complete sellout. <laughs> oh, <laughs> one press pass, please. There you go, the final press pass. Yeah, <laughs> press pass, please. You? Which paper do you write for? The Daily Menace. I've never heard of it. That's because it's uh, new and exclusive and only online. Well, this is the final press pass and it's mine. You can't both have the final press pass. You're right. The final press pass should go to a deserving home. Meaning? Meaning uh, whoever gets the most readers by Saturday gets the final press pass into the match. Challenge accepted. May the best reporter win, Dennis. Sounds fair enough to me. <laughs> Bertie, hold the presses. I have a new lead story for this afternoon's edition. <laughs> Dennis the Menace, biggest loser in Beano Town. <laughs> Meet me in the treehouse in exactly 33 minutes and 22 seconds. We've got a newspaper to launch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, Nasha. Dad's bottom has been given its own TV show. Dennis, I'm in your bedroom. Ah. Say hello to the Homework Spy 3000. The Homework what? This little beauty will be keeping an eye on you at all times. Right, but... Uh, uh, no buts, Dennis. Take a seat. Six months' worth of homework to do, Dennis. And remember, if you're thinking of leaving your desk, the Homework Spy 3000 will be watching. Which means I'll be watching. Oh! We have to meet Curly and Pie Face in three minutes, Nasha. This calls for a top draw menace. <laughs> Look at that. No more sneaking behind my back. <laughs> Pulling the wool over my eyes. It's all about using your head. Brilliant, Nasha. Time for some menacing genius. <laughs> Right, I reckon I've got 20 seconds. Let's get to work. Oh, no, it's on the blink. One state-of-the-art website coming up. Great. So, oh, oh, with a fixed position navigation interface. Uh, sure. Ah, and some showy CCS coding. Why not? Oh, I know. And an intricately designed content management system that automatically generates astute SEO URLs to provide accurate metadata within a fully functional customized database. I don't know. Um, Paul can help you out, Curly. He's got a knack for computers. 
Okay, so now we've just got to post a story for people to read. But how will we know how many people are reading it? Well, when someone clicks on our website, it comes up as a hit on the screen. Exactly! And what do hits make? Press passes! <laughs> OK, let's make news! Right, Curly, bring in the bus. <sighs> Here goes. A world exclusive. <laughs> Double-decker bus found on moon! Our first big splash. How easy is this? Dennis! <gasps> oh, no. Mum! <laughs> A little something for you. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <gasps> that was close. Double-decker bus found on the moon? <laughs> I can do better than that. Read all about it. Double-decker bus on the moon disappears. Mm, here you go. Here's a shilling. One more happy reader. <gasps> oh. By Jove, he's right. There is no double-decker bus on the moon. Wild animal in Beano Town Park. Wild animal captured. Treasure found in Beano Town. Free chocolate coin with school paper. Town flooded! How I saved Beano Town from the floods! Read my amazing story! <laughs> Final reader figures are Walter's paper 485, but Daily Menace has 486 hits! Ha-ha! And today's Saturday, so... No school paper! Ha-ha! <laughs> yes, nice, 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 Walter just handed me this. It's a bit rubbish. <gasps> this puts the numbers exactly even. Walter gave me one specially for you, too. <sighs> See? <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> I believe the press pass is mine, Dennis. <laughs> Soon I'll be shaking hands with Beano Town United's finest. So, Walter wants to shake hands, does he? Curly, I've just had a brilliant idea. <laughs> That's him! Get him! Oh! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Leave me alone! Big competition. Be the first to shake Walter's hand and win a year's free subscription. 500 extra hits. <laughs> 986 readers to Walter's 487. The press pass is ours. Congratulations. One press pass coming up. <laughs> That's my press pass. No, it's not. We want it fair and square. <laughs> Actually, I think it belongs to me. Huh? Angel, Angel face. face. Whoever has the biggest readership gets the press pass, yes? Have you read my magazine? <laughs> Dennis versus Walter. Skullduggery. Treachery. Trickery. Oh, and 5,000 readers. 5,000? <laughs> See you again. Or maybe not. <laughs> here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> oh, what have you been up to, Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Still want to see the match, Nasha? Match, Nash! Angel Face, have I got a deal for you? Your press pass in exchange for the Parents Buy 3000. Stay ahead of prying mums and dads with this state of the art revolution. <laughs> it's a deal. Hot 
dogs. Pizza. Mmm, salad. Huh? For Paul, he's gone vegetarian. <laughs> 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 Uh, I think that means poison, Payface. Food isn't that bad. Is it, Brenda? Lunch is off, boys. The pest exterminator found an ant nest in the kitchen, but he's been sorting it out. Aha! I've got you down, little ant. Uh, no, no, I don't. Since 9.30 this morning... Uh -oh. If you head to the playground, we've made alternative arrangements. Celery soup! Get your cold celery soup! Ugh. Cold celery soup? I thought we were trying to avoid being poisoned. Oh, I could always dig into my emergency pie supply. Anyone for a bite? Thanks, Pieface. But one piece of blueberry pie isn't going to feed us. Oh, I don't understand. Why would they shut the canteen over a few little ants? Yeah, it's the only good part of school. Hmm. <laughs> if a few little ants can shut down the canteen, what would it take to shut down the whole school? Menaces? I think it's time for an infestation. Touch. I'll need the rest of that blueberry pie. But I'm hungry. Would you prefer a few stale pie crumbs at school or 20 fresh pies outside school? Celery soup full of vitamins. Pick, take it. <laughs> Menaces, I present to you the Nasha Ant. <laughs> Nasha, Nash. How long does it take to get rid of a few ants? Shh! <laughs> uh -huh. I have you now. That's a bun. Exactly. I'm tracking the ants' DNA. It left traces on that bun. Aha! Uh -huh. Stand back, civilians. Things are about to get very messy. Right then, we'll uh, leave you to it. Again? Oh, no, I don't even like it. How big are they? Now, Nasha! <laughs> Time to say goodbye, Ant. <laughs> School? Just for some tiny ants? No, it's much worse than that. There's a giant ant on the loose. Save yourselves! A giant ant? Surely there's no such thing as a... A, <laughs> a giant ant! <laughs> attention, students, attention. All lessons are hereby cancelled. Please leave the school in an orderly, calm fashion. Oh, and I uh, should also mention there's a huge giant ant on the loose. Try to avoid it. <laughs> 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 Menaces one, school nil. Great job, Nasha. Ant. <laughs> Lunch time, I think. What? Oh no! Look! It's a giant ant! Run for your lives! Don't make it angry! Nash, Nash! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Result! Looks like your lunch is sorted, Nasha. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
So, Dennis, what about our lunch? I thought you'd never ask. Mm. <laughs> Wait! Shouldn't you boys be at school? School's closed. Small insect problem. Leah! In 20 years, I've never lost a bug, and I'm not about to lose one now. Just need to locate a trace of its DNA. Mm, if only I could find something it ate. How about your paints? Huh? Aha! We can locate the precise location of the beast. <laughs> Ooh, blueberries. Curious? Target acquired. It's on the move. <laughs> <laughs> And a pay's left, Pyface. Um, I've got blueberry, blueberry, a blueberry. Ah, blueberry for me. <laughs> Nobody move. You've got giant egg DNA all over you. Stay alert. It's close. Uh-oh! Nasha, run! Huh? Nasha, Nasha, Nasha! <laughs> Come back here, fiend! And, uh, what do we have here? The creature has shed its skin! Help me out of this! I can still track him! Uh, uh, I don't understand! How did he find us? Huh? Oh, no! It must be the blueberry pies! That machine thinks the pie juice is ant DNA! That's how it's been tracking us! Pie face! I'm on it! <laughs> And we'll all have to take emergency precautions. You too, Nasha. <laughs> this is it. The ant nest. <laughs> and rinse. <laughs> Nice try, Ant. Think you could hide in the sewer, eh? Hey, go, mutant! <laughs> My work here is done. Phew, that was close. Can we still have the day off school? Yeah. Oh, look, it's Principal Detester. He's got the day off too. Mm. Nash. Ah. Nash. Oh, I don't want to see another plate as long as I live. Whoa, I guess you won't want lunch then. Oh, thanks, Brenda. Let me guess. Blueberry. <laughs> I mean, really, what 
What sort of a mongrel are you anyway? Tripe hound? That's not even a real breed. Nobody knows what tripe is anymore. A freak. That's what you are. And furthermore, what kind of a dog shaves his legs? Uh, you don't, do you? Ash. And that smell. I'd offer my trademark derisory snort if I didn't think the intake of air might render me comatose. Huh? Lost me at derisory. And as for those supposedly world-class gnashing abilities of yours, know what I say? All took. Huh? Walter, what are you doing? <laughs> huh? Gotcha! Military-grade gnash-proof titanium boxer shorts. Freshly delivered from worldofunderpants.com. I may just have to risk a derisory snort here. Henceforth, I shall walk the streets of Beano Town unafraid, confident that my nether regions are safe at last from the... <laughs> Some people never learn. And due to the lamentably substandard nature of this product, I will now not be recommending World of Underpants forward slash 100% anti proofcom and intend to look elsewhere for a more reliable supplier of armoured underwear. I expect a full and immediate refund and send. Hello, Walter. We got your email. <gasps> there! That's where it happened. And you say a dog did this? Yes, a dog. Look, whatever I said about World of Underpants forward slash 100% anti proofcom I really am most impressed with your complaints procedure, but... Can... <laughs> You're not from World of Underpants.com, are you? Son, we're gonna need your help. <laughs> Walter, seriously? Is this some kind of life is pain emo thing? Because <laughs> other types of music are available, you know. <laughs> what? What just happened? Walter, who was in that van? Who? I'll tell you who. MI13, the top secret government spy organization. But what would they want with Nasha? Apparently that ghastly mutt of yours has been deemed a threat to national security and you are never going to see him again. <laughs> can one look triumphant dressed as a sausage? I think one can. <laughs> to find out where it is. <laughs> ah, sorry, Dennis. Says here the address of MI-13's Beano Town branch is known only to local military personnel. Well, that's no good. We don't know any... Ah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, chaps. Earwax. The silent enemy. Where did you say you were from again? MI-13, Beano Town branch. Uh, we just popped out to the shops for some biscuits. Uh, yeah. And the place is so secret, we forgot how to get back. You couldn't give us directions? Of course. It's... Hang on. How do I know you're who you say you are? Ah, because of all the cool spy stuff we have. Such as? Um, walkie-talkie trainers. <laughs> Agent D to Agent C, come in, please. Do you read me? Over. <sighs> Reading you loud and clear, Agent D. Over. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. Then there's these. Black Ops Cola Cubes. One suck and the enemy's out for the count. Observe. <laughs> My word, impressive. Sorry I doubted you. All right, listen carefully. Huh. This'll be the place then. Weird how we've never noticed it before. Yes? Am I 13? No. Can I have my dog back, please? <laughs> OK. They had their chance. One sausage ought to do it. Curly. <laughs> now all we have to do is wait. Ah, works every time. <laughs> That was 
unexpected. We call it the Nashinator. It's a prototype superweapon made from cloned Nasher teeth. What? Where's Nasher? He's being debriefed at our other, even more secret base. But now, thanks to you, there's an out-of-control Nashinator on the loose. So? Go get it back! Uh, we can't. We're, um, we're stuck. In gnashing its way out, it crippled security and jammed the exits. Yeah? Well, I hope it ate your spy socks and weed on your spy carpet, too. Actually, it did. So, here's the deal, kid. You will get Nasher back on one condition. That you keep the Nashinator out of trouble until backup arrives. Hang on. Is this, like, a mission? Because, seriously, if you do have Black Ops Cola Cubes, they would be... Go! But beware. The Nashinator was created for one purpose and one purpose alone. To seek out and gnash the enemy. And unfortunately, it seems to have developed certain natural dislikes. What do you mean? And I now declare the Beano Town Annual Postman's Convention open! <laughs> okay, people, listen up. We're working for MI13, and we need you to evacuate the building right away, because there's an unstoppable set of robot teeth coming to gnash you. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Dennis. <laughs> 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 Covered. Oh, figures. Okay. Well, we just wait till backup arrives, right? My elbow. <laughs> Pie face. Not helping. Sorry, Denny. <laughs> okay, folks. We're down to our last sausage. We're gonna have to make a run for it. After three. One. <laughs> Nasha! Yes! Go get him, boy! Back off, Robo Chops. Final warning. I got butternut squash here. Ouch! Curly, the aubergines. <laughs> of property, possession of a dangerous weapon. Dennis, do you never learn? Huh? Uh, hey, <laughs> Robo Chops! <laughs> Look who's here! <laughs> yes! Wow, Walter, you're a hero! <laughs> And Nasha, you were brilliant! You saved all those posties! Yes, Nash, Nash. Nash, 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 Well, temporarily saved them anyway. So, yes, you may rest assured that Project Nashinator has now been officially mothballed, and the Nashinator itself disposed of. You haven't just stuck it in a giant warehouse full of wooden boxes, then? No. Still, there has been one good thing come out of this. Yeah? What's that? Our detailed studies of Nash's teeth have helped us develop these. MI-13's new armored field trousers. Now scientifically proven to be completely 100% Nash proof. Nash, Nash? Ah! Ah! Okay! Okay! okay. Nash, 
Smash, smash, smash. Citizens of Earth, having braved the chill depths of space, meteor showers, asteroids, canine astromut cutter likes nothing more than a bowl of lumpy chunks. is in the can. Well, I'll be. Well, I was hoping you'd visit my humble shop. It, it's truly an honor, sir. Eh? Please accept this bone for being the greatest dog in the world. Nash? And not just this bone, no, sir. A hero like you can have anything in the shop. <gasps> And in your honor, <laughs> my sausages I give to you, my chops to fill your face, my fillets fill your rumbling tum. Brave dog who's been to space. Oh, no, Asher, not you. Him. Please, sir, accept this bone for being the greatest dog in the world. Look out! Huh? The moon's coming! <laughs> School's out, Nasha! Time for a kickabout! Nash, Nash, Nash! Nash! It's a freebie! Everyone got one to celebrate Cutter's visit! <laughs> In honor of his amazing travels, Astro Cutter will receive the Beano Town Collar of Honor later this afternoon. <laughs> 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 Cutter is the greatest dog in the universe because he's been up in space. <laughs> Second best, maybe. He's nothing compared to you, Nasha. <laughs> Nasha? <laughs> Nasha? Awarding myself a medal ah. for Hey, your laces places. are undone. Huh? All the planets are aligned. Well, the moons at least. Go, Nasha! <laughs> huh? I've exposed my flank and I haven't been attacked. Something's definitely not right here. We've got an emergency. Look! <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Oh, Nash has lost his menacing mojo. Oh, I'd hate to think of Paul lying around not up to his usual tricks. Oh. Uh, uh, we've got to find something to kickstart Nash's menace hard drive. But what, Dennis? I mean, that's a pretty big hard drive. It'll have to be something out of this world. <gasps> Curly, you are a genius. <laughs> TPQ! What? I thought we'd just say random letters. Are we not? Ah. Ah. Look! A 
text message from the space agency Ganassa Nasha for you. Huh? It's an emergency situation. They need your help, Nasha. <laughs> this is space, and this is a spaceship piloted by Cutter. You know he went to the moon, right? <laughs> His mission was to bring back moon rocks, space dust, and um. Uh, Stuff like that. But Cutter left something behind. That's right. He left a half-eaten sausage in a moon crater. Huh? It was grabbed by the Blurps, an alien race. Who can't believe we Earthlings throw away such treats as sausages. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. The Blurps are eyeing the Earth's vast sausage reserves. They're about to invade. There's only one dog brave enough and skillful enough to save the world's sausages. Nasha, you have to stop the Blurps invading. I give you the Starship Enterprise. Huh? Nasha, Nasha, Nasha. Nasha. Planet Earth depends on you. Ready for takeoff in five, four, three, two, one. NASA! Destroy the Earth, the deadliest warship in the Blurp Laser Cannon Attack Fleet. <laughs> we want your mangas, salami, chorizo, and hot dogs. Also, chipolatas, which are nice. <laughs> Hand them over now, or face immediate sausage extermination. <laughs> <laughs> about my end. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> my helium boom. Well done, Nasha mate. You just saved the world. Beetle <laughs> <laughs> Tone, we have a problem. <laughs> Pedal harder! But legs can they take it, Dennis? Wow, it really can fly. Follow that shit! The Beano Town Color of Honor to <laughs> Beano Town. We have an even bigger problem. <laughs> 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 